Right now I would like to talk to you about creating uh, mail art and uh, the focus of this mail art project will be memories. A mail artwork, an envelope and an insert are very interactive in their nature. So when creating your uh, envelope and insert you have to think about how you want your audience to open it, how you want um, them to look through it and uh, basically how you are trying to get your idea across. So here I just have an old envelope that uh, I carefully tore apart and I'm going to use it as a template to create an actual envelope. It's very important that you make this envelope yourself rather than using a store-bought one. So I took this envelope carefully apart and now uh, what I'm going to do is I recommend that you use good quality paper because it will allow you to create stronger structure and also if you paint on it and draw on it or create a collage on it, it will be able to hold the glue and um, the paint and whatever else you use much better. It will be able to absorb it. And any artwork that you create uh, using better quality, thicker paper such as drawing paper or watercolor paper will just make your piece look a lot better. After you outline your envelope, you can use an exacto knife or scissors to cut it out. When you're done, you can take a white plastic eraser and make sure that if there's any visible pencil on your edge, you can remove it. You don't necessarily have to use a pre-made envelope. You could create something that's really unusual, for example, a very long envelope that's narrow or a really tiny envelope. You could do a series of very small envelopes. Now I'm going to score the lines. And what you're going to do is line up your triangle with the lines of the envelope. And you're going to score them. And you can use anything sharp. I wouldn't recommend using an X-Acto knife because it's very sharp and it will actually cut through your paper. So using something like a palette knife or um, a plastic knife or even um, scissors, a side of your scissors will work. So you hold your ruler or your triangle in place and you just go back and forth and you score the lines. I'm applying some pressure on without pressing too hard. So you can see I created a line and then you can gently fold it and then you can use your nail to press it down. It's important that you pay close attention to how you cut it out. You could also create an envelope that's completely unconventional that looks like an object, for example, an envelope that looks like a suitcase or something. So I scored all of my sides and now I can fold all of them. So this is my envelope here. And now you can do the collage portion. Or you can decide to paint it um, and add collage on top or you can just do uh, intricate drawing or use pastels or ink, it's pretty much up to you. I'm going to create a collage for this mail artwork. Think about what memory means to you and how you want to convey it. Is it something about your childhood or it's something that uh, a story that is memorable? Um, how do you want your viewers to perceive your artwork? So here I have some cutouts and um, you can start moving them around your picture plane to decide the best composition. So my story is about um, bird watching and also reading books when I was young. So here I have an image of a dove with this uh, strange metal piece. And then I have these small cutouts of books. And what I'm going to do is have these books come out of the openings. So I'm trying to connect different shapes and images together. Once. Um, I like this layout. I can also consider the background. Do you want the background to stay white or do you want to add a color? A lot of times when something is completely white, it may look unfinished, so you have to carefully think about whether you want to add a color or a background collage to your piece. So I'm just going to try and add some ink washes and see how it will work with my collage. 
and sometimes it won't look as well as you expected. So you can maybe make several of these envelopes and then you can try out different things and see what works best. You really want to address all of the flaps. So when you're creating your envelope, you don't want it to be just the front. You want to think about the side flaps, top, bottom, and also the interior of the envelope. It can be just as important as the exterior. You could uh, create a more detailed drawing or painting in the background, or it could be something very simple. Since my collage is pretty complex, I'm not going to make a very active image in the background. It will just be a wash. And once you're done, you can allow it to dry and put it to your side. Here I already created one with a different color and you can see um, which one do you like more or maybe you don't like this at all and you want to go back um, working with the white background. You can see here that I placed the wing of the dove onto the flap um, and I want this image to look continuous so what I'm going to do is go over that wing um, with a pencil line to indicate where the flap is going to bend. Um, and then I'm going to cut them out. Rather than folding it, it will be a lot easier for me to cut them out and then glue them as individual shapes. So what this does is that it can creates a continuous image so it doesn't um, only end here but uh, moves on to the other pl flaps. And then the books that represent books that I was reading as a child are flying out of these openings. Um, I also cut into the wings so I can insert some of them and create a direct connection and show that they're flying out of the dove's wings. So you want to create this relationship between the images so they're not just attached to a surface, but they're intertwined and interconnected. Okay, so let's say I'm happy with this image. I would then proceed to gluing it. Um, these little guys would, would be best glued with white glue just because they're small and you can really control the edges and um, carefully slide them in. And then it's also important that you give thought to the inside of the envelope. So, Right now, you will have images over here, Oops. but it still looks white inside and it may look unfinished. So uh, think about images that go inside the envelope and how do they relate to the outside? Is it, is it showing the inside of a body or the inside of um, a suitcase, if you're portraying a suitcase, or an inside of a book, or does it have just uh, an unusual texture inside?